Hi guys and welcome to another Hoi 4 video. Did you know that new Hidden Nation has been added to Hearts of Arm 4? Let's be honest, at this point even my neighbor knows that if you play a non-historical as Argentina, you're able to go for the 4th Reich. So without further blabbering, I'm just gonna fire up an event here, a strange visitor, and then you pick the first option, and you go fascist, and you unlock the hidden focus tree. Focus 4th Standard Charm renames you to the 4th Reich. This focus gives you our goals to now non-fascist South American countries, basically all of these. Recover the ship uh, gives you the production of Panzerschiff and Focus Arma Maravichosa gives you nuclear reactors and experimental rockets in like 1936 because this DLC has been very well made. But that's not what I'm talking about today. You know how in some countries you are able to cheese the game and do some funny referendums. For example going to the democratic or communist Ottoman Empire or communist empire of Portugal and Brazil. Well you can do it as well in the Fort Reich path. However, you can't go communist this way, no matter how big your communist support is, you won't be able to get a civil war or communist referendum. However, if you have a lots of democratic support, you'll be able to get the democratic referendum or democratic civil war. Now, obviously, we know that this is not possible through the conventional means, by hiring a random guy, there's no such thing. You'd have to like justify on countries, wait for the war goes to expire, then lose fascist support, and make sure that it ends up in the democratic support. And that's a very tedious and very long process, but it's actually possible to pull off. Anyway, if you would get enough democratic support, you'll be able to do national referendum. When you do national referendum and become democratic, you're gonna still be called the Fourth Reich, but you're gonna get the democratic leader. What is less known, however, besides going democratic and having a goofy, you know, the fourth Reich, which is democratic, you'll actually unlock another focus called fifth times the charm. This is another 70 day focus and for this you have to be democratic and you already have to unlock this focus tree. And when you finish this focus tree, this happens. Argentina becomes Argentina once again and uh, yeah, in this case they attack Costa Rica because they got all these war goals. But we actually become the fifth Reich and our leader is Adolf Indracotto. What does this do? Well, we get to move to Madagascar. Fifth Reich is basically Madagascar with its own cosmetic tag, from what I could tell. It gets raised in its course, basically Madagascar, Comoro Islands and Reunion. It also gets promoted to develop rural region and gets five civs, three mills and uh, two naval dockyards. And on top of that, you get cores on entire Africa, as you can see right here. Not only that, you also get cores on all of Germany's cores. Actually, I just realized you don't actually have to go for the Fourth Reich. You just need to get Hitler. You don't have to finish this focus to unlock this one. And of course, if you end up in the Civil War, the Senor Hilter is gone from here. He is replaced by a generic leader. But that's not all. Let's not forget that if Germany goes for the oppose uh, Hilter path, they can core all of these states, getting the Polish course if Poland goes fascist and gives them course earlier, and also Austria through, well, the referendum thingy, and of course the EU. Which means that in theory, Madagascar can core all of these states with the maximum core population of 330.79 million people. So yeah, that's the new formula that you probably didn't know about in Hearts of Iron 4, and uh, let me know if you want to see me play as this nation. And uh, bye! Oh my god, that's a thick Shangji.